Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about the shift register counters. So in previous videos we already discussed about uh, what is register and how the registers are working and we also discussed counters. What is a counter? How the counters are working. So in this video we mainly focus on shift register counters okay so here the main reason that shift registers okay the one of the applications of shift registers is that they can be arranged to form several types of counters okay and shift register counters are obtained from serial in serial out shift registers okay shift registers are obtained mainly in the form of serial in serial out shift registers by providing by providing some feedback okay feedback and we know that what is the feedback okay feedback is nothing but so by taking some of the output from the uh, device and which is connected to connected to again input of the same device that is called feedback okay so here once again i repeating shift register counters shift register counters are obtained from serial in serial out shift registers by providing feedback from the output of the last flip flop from the output of the last flip flop which is connected to the input of the first flip flop okay so which is connected to the input of first flip flop and these devices are called as counters okay why because they exhibit a specified sequence of states okay so these devices are called as counters why they are called counters why because they exhibit a specified sequence of states okay so this is the definition of shift register counters okay once again i repeat shift register counters are obtained from serial in serial out shift registers by providing feedback by providing feedback how we provide feedback so by simply uh, the output of the last flip flop which is connected to the input of the first flip flop okay and these devices are also called as counters why because they exhibit a specified sequence of states okay in general these shift register counters are available in two types one is ring counter one is ring counters and another one is twisted ring counter another one is twisted ring counter okay see the another name for this twisted ring counter is also called as johnson counter and also called as switch tail ring counter in general the most widely used shift register counters are in two types so one is ring counter and another one is twisted ring counter okay so the another name for twisted ring counter is johnson counter or switch tile ring counter now let us discuss uh, the first one is ring counter what is the ring counter and how they are existed okay so let us see see this is the ring counter ring counter okay so is it clear over there and this is simplest shift register counter ring counter is the simplest shift register counter and you will see in this circuit diagram this basic ring counter is realized or can be implemented by using d flip flops and as well as the same this ring counter can be realized by using jk flip flops you will see the circuit diagram so this one is the first one is the this is four bit uh, ring counter logic diagram by using d flip flops 
and this is a 4 bit ring counter which is realized by using JK flip flops. Okay, see, as we discussed, the definition of shift register counters, okay, how they are connected, and see how they are connected. See here, here in this, if you observe, there are 4 D flip flops are connected. 4 D flip flops are connected. All 4 D flip flops are synchronously applied to the so all the these four flip flops are connected single clock pulse that's why it is called synchronous synchronous a model okay see so the first flip flop second third flip fourth all flip flops are driven by a single clock pulse and see the connection the output of the first flip flop which is connected to the input for second flip flop as input d2 see the q1 output is connected to the input for d2 and the Q2 output is connected to the input for D3 and the Q3 output which is connected to the input for D4 and see the last flip-flop connection the output of Q4 which is connected to the input for first flip-flop so this is called feedback see this connection is called feedback connection this connection is called the feedback connection Okay, see these flip flops are first of all these flip flops are generally arranged in normal shift register and the output of each stage which is connected to the input for the next stage and the last flip flop output which is connected to the first flip flop input and this is called feedback connection and see the arrangement the arrangement is simply is just like a ring this arrangement simply just like as a ring that's why it is called ring counter that's why it is called ring counter the same uh, arrangement is uh, uh, you can observe in this jk flip-flop also so in jk flip-flops there are two types of flip-flops are there jk so two inputs j and k and see the connection so here the connections are output of first flip-flop which is connected to the input and so on up to the fourth one and output of the last flip-flop which is nothing but J flip-flop 4 which connected to the input for J1 okay similarly for the output of Q4 bar which is connected to the input for K1 so these are the two feedback connections and this arrangement is called what feedback arrangement and this circuit is called ring counter okay let us see the working operation of ring counter so in most of the instances or in cases only a single one is in register and which is made it to circulate around the register as long as clock pulse are applied that is a basic motto in this ring counter that means uh, here what we say in we are single one we are in this uh, let us take uh, the first model in this d flip flop um, ring counter a single one is uh, is in the register and which is made to circulate which is made to circulate around the register as long as the clock pulses are applied okay let us say the uh, first example okay initially uh, if the first flip-flop is preset to 1 okay so the, we have uh, we know that so here for any flip-flop there are two asynchronous inputs are there one is clear and another one is preset okay so preset is always is used to we are not mentioned we are not shown this uh, those two here uh, but uh, remember for any flip-flop there are two asynchronous inputs are there and they are used to oh, they are used to set and clear the flip-flop irrespective of the inputs okay so here also the first flip-flop uh, uh, is preset to one okay that means without without giving any input without applying any input okay we are set to the, the first flip-flop as one okay that means the output of q1 is one okay and remaining outputs remaining remaining flip-flops are at uh, the way we are we are not applying any preset inputs for this these three, three flip-flops so the output is uh, 0 0 0 okay that means here the q1 output is 1 q2 output is 0 q3 output is 0 q4 output is 0 after applying 
the first clock pulse initial clock pulse the outputs of q1 q2 q3 q4 are 1 1 0 0 0 see here this is q1 q2 q3 q4 1 0 0 when the clock pulse is 0 initial initial after applying the first clock pulse what happens here after applying the first clock pulse okay the output of last flip flop q4 which is connected to the input for first flip flop as input so this zero reached here already it is connected so zero is this. after applying first clock pulse what happens this zero comes here and this one comes here and this zero comes here and this zero comes here okay again this zero here comes here here so after applying the first clock pulse zero one zero zero this is the output similarly after applying second clock pulse what happens so this zero comes here and this zero comes here and this one comes here and this one uh, this zero comes here okay what is the output zero zero one zero after applying third clock pulse same so this zero comes here because this already zero exists connected to here so zero here and this zero comes here and this zero comes here and this one comes here okay so zero 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 one okay again after applying fourth clock pulse what happens this one is connected to here okay so the output is one zero 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 see the clock uh, cycle is repeated like this way okay so here uh, this d uh, this particular ring counter is a four bit flip flop so which requires uh, uh, which exhibits only four states only which exhibits the four states if you are connected n bits so what happens so which exhibits n states okay so the sequence repeats after every four clock pulses the number of distinct states in the ring counter and which describes the mode of the ring counter so here the number of bits are four so that's why this counter is a mod four ring counter okay uh, the one of the most important here an n bit ring counter an n bit ring counter can account only n bits whereas an n bit triple counter can account 2 to the power of n bits so here this is the most the difference between ring counter and triple counter okay an n bit ring counter can account n bits whereas an n bit ripple counter that is a ripple counter means asynchronous counter which account 2 to the power of n bits okay and i will come into this the next one this is the operation of a ring counter uh, for C. C uh, sequence table. So already uh, from the working principle, uh, we just uh, uh, we draw this, uh, we write the sequence table. See here, see. Initially the clock was 0. What is the output of Q1, Q2, Q3, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So after applying the first clock was so there is a shifting operation existing shift register counter so the 0 1 0 0 that means the output of q1 is arrived at q2 okay after applying the second clock was 0 0 1 0 3 0 0 0 1 4 again this one comes back to q1 1 0 0 0 okay again 5 and 0 1 0 like that and so on so the total number of states are 4 states one okay so the states are so the state uh, let us say the state by using these four states by using these four states uh, let us draw the state diagram okay initial state is one zero 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 okay and the next state is zero one zero zero and next zero zero one one zero and next one is zero 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 one okay so each and every time these four states are repeated for every four states okay and the state diagram is also same so the state diagram is consisting for four bit modular ring counter it is consisting four states only okay for this is the state diagram of four bit ring counter okay and next uh, uh, let us see the timing diagram timing diagram of a four bit ring counter okay so this is the timing diagram so when the clock pulse is zero the output of q1 is one q2 is zero q3 is zero q4 is zero Okay, at the clock pulse 1, the output of Q1 0, Q2 1, Q3 0, Q4 0. 
and the clock pulse 2 the output of q10 q20 q31 q40 and the clock pulse 3 output of q10 q20 q30 q41 okay again after applying the fourth clock pulse again the output of q1 is uh, uh, at 1 and q20 q30 q like that way uh, ring bit 4 bit ring counter is working okay thank you